Hi there, Jamie again. And first of all, if you didn't see my video on how to make a skill for the Echo Show or Echo Spot, um, I definitely suggest checking it out. I'll link to it somehow on the top right or something. Um, but today, I just wanted to dive a little deeper into the render template directives that are used to create, you know, these richest visual-based skills for the devices that support it, such as the Echo Show and Echo Spot. You're probably wondering, um, you know, you've got a square here and a circle here. How can you make sure your, your visual displays for your skill work on both screens? Well, that's where the render templates come in and they do all the hard work for you. But rather than just dilly-dallying, let's just get straight into it. So I've written a skill that shows off, I want to say, all five body templates and all two list templates. Uh, and before I forget, I'll, I'll link to Amazon's documentation on the matter, but they go into crazy amount of detail on you know how these all work so I'll, I'll link to that you should check that out let's demo the skill that i made like an hour ago <laughs> hopefully it works alexa show me body template one rendering body template one alexa open template examples hi alexa show me body template one rendering body template one cool all right they're both muted so first of all, we both have text, uh, sorry, we both have titles, body template one, body template one. We both have a background, a space background that I just sort of found online and I've set. We've got a few types of text. We've got primary, uh, secondary, and tertiary. I think it's pronounced tertiary, uh, with like third. Um, so yeah, we have support for multiple sections of text. And you, you can do all sorts of stuff with this text if you want to like, you know, change the size, italic, bold. I, I'm not doing any of that here, but you know, it's an option. Um, yeah, same on the spot. We've got the primary, secondary, and the tertiary. Um, as you can see here, it's all in one line because it's not like, there. there is word wrapping, but it doesn't split the word up. The default font size, as you can see, you know, it kind of just keeps it to this size. If I wanted to make it, if I wanted to use body template one and get that, or get more words to fit on one line, I could just make the size smaller, but you know, that's the default. The last thing that both support is uh, is action text. You know, th that's basically text that you can make a little bit more interactive. If I selected... Somebody touch my spaghetti. Very good. That's body template one in a nutshell. Cool. So what have we got here? Well, biggest difference, you've got a nice image of a raspberry, <laughs> which I just set in the code for some reason. Um, yeah, you can see here that, uh, you know, that's like a foreground image. If we compare it to the spot, what's interesting is instead of having like a foreground image, it kind of sets it as the background. Like, you you know, I've set the, like, I'm pretty sure that the space background, I mean, it's not being rendered. Well, no, it is being rendered. I'm pretty sure it's being rendered underneath the, uh, the raspberries. Just because the raspberries is not transparent, we can't see it. Um... So that's kind of how that works. Uh, you can also see that the text is a little bit smaller on the spot. That's why we can fit more uh, words on one line. Um, and I can, as I said, you can change that to whatever you want. But that's, yeah, that's kind of the default. Once again, action text is supported on both. We've got a scroll here on the Echo Show. Um, the last thing, I don't know if they're supported on the Echo Spot, but on the Echo Show, you've got hints, which are basically, they don't do much. They just kind of just, they're basically little uh, suggestions you can set uh, for your user so if they were you know if you wanted them to use like a certain part of the skill of a certain utterance you can just get them to say something right now just i've just written eat more fruits and veg but you know that's something you can set uh, however you want moving on so what 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 differences have we got here you know the image straight away it's on the left now uh, on the show um we also have no more hint is kind of how it is all the text is based on the left on the spot um and yeah that's kind of the only i get you know the image the foreground image is still set as the background but yeah apart from that not many differences moving on cool. uh pretty similar um both lack support for foreground images um the show, again, has support for hints if you wanted to, uh, not available on the spot. Uh, the space background, 
support on both. Uh, we've got three types of text again, primary, secondary, tertiary. Oh, still we have support for action text. Somebody touch on my spaghetti. And yeah, that's, you know, you can see they actually look pretty similar. So you don't have to worry too much here. Moving on. Cool. So these are pretty much the same. Um, most important thing about body template seven is you've got this very nice big foreground image um, on the spot, you know, straight away, it's no longer the background. You can still see our background um, with the foreground image over here. Uh, on the show, it's just you know taking up the whole, the whole screen, very nice. If you're doing like a welcome page or something, I don't know. Uh, you still got title text on both, which is good. But you can see it's pretty much missing everything else on both. There's no um, text content. There's no <clears throat> hints on the show. Um, yeah, so if you're just focusing on a, a nice big image, this is the body template for you. So those are the five currently available body templates that we can choose from. Let's check out the two currently available list templates. Uh, oh, so we have a list of some very nice fruit. We have a title on both list template one, list template one. Um, and these are pretty much the same. Um, there's no tertiary tech support, but you have a primary and a secondary, a primary and a secondary. Um, you know, I've just duplicated it here, but if I wanted, if you wanted more information about the list item, you can add that if you want. Uh, image support on every list item, which is good. Um, yeah, that's, they're pretty much the same. The only thing on the spot is you can see how they, um, you know, you've got the circular screen here, which, you know, maybe causes issues, but you can see how it's rendered here. It just looks very natural, very cool, you know, less text I guess sorry less like visuals but they make it work so what have we got here well they are the same things in the sense that instead of now vertical they're both horizontal lists um and before I forget we actually have hint support on the show which is very nice if you wanted to use that but what's cool here is first of all background there's no background support on the spot on the show, there is. Um, we Similar to the body templates thing on the spot, we've got the foreground image acting as a background for each list item. Um, you've got the primary text and secondary text on both. And yeah, it's, apart from, you know, instead of being able to like scroll through all of them, I mean, you can do that sort of similar here on the spot, but you'll see if I leave it, or zoom in on one of them. The other thing that I actually haven't spoken about much is I got it available right now on every page, um, the back, back button. So if I press back, it will render the last um, template that was shown. Whereas on the spot, I do I need to double check. Don't hold this to me. Don't hold this against me. But I think there is no, you know what? Let me check. Okay, sorry, I'm back. How about that? There is no support for the back button on the Echo Spot. So another thing just worth considering. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to quickly show off how the body templates and list templates look on each device. Um, you know, experiment with them. It is voice first, so always make sure that your skill works just by voice. If you've got any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to get in touch, and I will see you on the next one. Cool. See you later. Cheers.